Yo, what's up, buddy, guys? My name is Beastie, and welcome back to the channel. And today, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for something amazing, awesome, cool? Well, hopefully. We're here on Battlefield's channel, and as you can see, posted one hour ago, Battlefield 1 official single-player trailer. Now, I am super excited for Battlefield 1's campaign, because as far as I can remember, there is not another game on the market that's World War 1 with modern-day graphics, modern-day engines, modern-day game mechanics, a first-person shooter that's placed in World War 1. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I just don't think there is anything like that on the market. As far as I can remember, this is the only game that has World War 1 as a story mode and oh my god oh my god and, and i'm not your typical single player guy i do not get excited for single player games i jump right into the multiplayer skip over the campaign but not this year please don't screw it up please don't screw it up what let's check it out guys blood strong language violence Ooh, i love violence oh my god oh my god i already have goosebumps and it's barely even started that's a good sign Please don't suck. I hope the characters are really strong. Like they have a personality. If once in a while. Oh, that's brutal. Beat his face in. Breaks through the clouds in a world beyond the war. If the graphics are this good, oh my god. Behind every gun sight is There's no way the graphics are this good. Are those people? Promise me that you'll get me back in one piece. Okay, I promise. Oh, that's a bad idea. Never. Oh, is he about to kill him? You may find you're out there all alone. You know that. You so there's gonna be like a little controversy in the game between two characters. Oh my! Oh, that if gave me so many goosebumps. One in a thousand of us, then that future will be filled with stories of who we were. Oh, I we feel did. like they're gonna do a really good job making each comes. character have its own personality. You know? We will look death in the eye. Yeah, they're definitely gonna nail it with the characters. I can already tell. They don't look generic. They actually have their own personality, which a lot of games can't get that right. Oh, this game. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Aerial photography. Oh, my. I'm so excited for this. Look! Can't- you can't- Oh, a standoff! Oh my god, dude! Xbox One. Okay, Xbox yeah, I don't One care S. about the new Xbox. Screw off. Oh my god. Okay, let's listen. Even if this game blows hippo balls, is there another game out there that is World War One with a modern day beautiful crispy engine and the characters are relatable? Like, when most- when most games make characters, the characters suck, you don't care about them, when they die, you don't feel sorry. But already, I could just tell they put a lot of effort into making each character have, I don't even know, have a personality. They don't look like generic NPCs, they just copy and paste. They have a personality, it's kind of hard to explain. My only question is, this is gonna sound kind of weird, where are the black guys? The cover's got a black guy, the statue, the pre-order statue's a black guy, where's the black guys? I remember hearing, I, I know this sounds so weird, where are the black guys? I remember Jack's, uh, Jack uh, Frags saying that the game was about the Harlem Hellfighters, where are the Harlem Hellfighters? That's my only question. I thought that was the base of the game, was the Harlem Hellfighters. Hopefully they don't screw it up. Hopefully the characters have their own personality where you can get attached to it, which sounds weird, and if you don't play the campaign, you probably don't understand what I'm talking about, but most games do not nail it. They make the gameplay epic battles, all of that, but the characters suck. You never feel attached to them in any way. You need to hate the bad guys and then love your comrades or, or feel an attachment to your comrades. So when somebody dies at the game, you're like, oh man, no, like, I think of games like uh, Call of Duty that had Soap and Price and, uh, for example, Mendez from Black Ops 2, one of the bad guys. All of those characters had a very strong personality and you felt something with them. Either hatred or like an attachment. So hopefully they make these characters very personable, have a personality, they're, you know, realistic basically. They're not just an animated piece of crap but a game. If they nail that, World War I, modern day graphics and good characters, the campaign's gonna be insane. What other game allows you to fly airplanes, be in a tank, be in a boat, use World War I guns and stuff? I mean, I, I can see so many possibilities for this. I, I really, really, really hope they don't screw it up and uh, 
I, I don't know. I, I'm really looking forward to trying this out. And even if the game, you know, as far as the single player sucks or just isn't as good as I would like, it's still a freaking World War One campaign. I mean, they've never had that before, at least to my knowledge. Maybe I'm wrong. I know, I know, but... Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I, I'm really looking forward to this. By the way, 30k special video coming soon. Thank you for 30k subscribers. And peace out.